this is the case of Johnson right? versus Monet. You all are dating. You're coming up on a year. And you're already having trust issues. Mr. Johnson, you fell in love with a reality TV star, but now you've got some concerns. You got a... It's a reality TV star? Who the f*** is this? Big decision to make. Tell us about that. I like Kiana, and basically, uh, before I pack up my life from Chicago and move to Las Vegas, I want to make sure that I'm, you know, that she's 100% with me. It would be a lot, about an eight to $10,000 move for me to pack up and leave to Vegas. To... Also, I would have to start my clientele all over again. So I'm risking a lot by leaving Chicago going to, to be with Kiana. So you Chicago, met up. and fell in love with a reality bad girl, and you're trying to make sure she's actually going to be your good girl. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. I got it. I Somebody in this chat know who this woman is. And you should be ashamed of yourself because you be watching reality shows. You deep in the reality show web, bro. Who the fuck is this? Got it. Now, Miss Monet, you on the bad girls club. Are, are you being a bad girl? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Ooh, ooh. I'm really a good girl. Like, at heart, I have a good heart, and he knows that. And just because I'm a bad girl doesn't mean I do bad things. He has some concerns that you're cheating. What are you here to prove? Different episode, I'm here nope, to prove lie. that if I've been on FaceTime and talking to you for eight, nine months now, and I'm still talking to you and I haven't got anything or any dates or anything romance, honey, that's proof enough that I'm in this. I mean, I think it is. I'm sacrificing at this point. I mean, but at the same time, <laughs> if I text you at 6 o'clock... You Charles Oa cheered Dex 100, first which I caught. Big Yo. ups from Funky Town. From Funky Town? <laughs> Thank you. And you read the message at 6.02, but you reply back at 9 p.m. It's a problem with that. I was at a booking. I was at a booking, okay? I had work to do. That's a what club, she say. The club. You nah, saw it on that. Snapchat. No, I did not. I was at a... Bro, who the f*** booking her, bro? Let's be honest, bro. Come on, bro. Y'all... It, yo, anybody that's going to a club that a bad girls club member is at, bro, you are down in life. Bro. Like, what, what they doing? They, all they do on there is fight each other. A actually, I can't no, have my actually, phone. the situation that I'm bro, have y'all ever even seen like the bad girls club like tryouts? I seen a clip on Twitter at the tryouts where they just see these people for the first time in their life, they be fighting in line. <laughs> All they do is fight on there. I'm talking this about this is why you don't okay, get data. Look, they, 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 we might as well talk to each other because they're they not talking to each other, they're not even here. <laughs> well, so, how you doing? They have got trust <laughs> issues out the wazoo. What, what they, you up to? She doesn't trust him, he doesn't trust okay. her. They have got so, yo, hey, thank yo, thank you for the goddamn seven months up, Coach. What the f was that that you just said? You all are not talking to each other, you all are oh, not having conversations. Each other. You try to overtalk her, she, she try to overtalk you. That's the Y'all are missing each other. It's a miscommunication. Kiana wants to run the relationship. She want to be the man. She oh, don't. She is... don't want to be submissive. She don't want to be the woman. Okay, okay. That, that is not true. true. Very true. I actually Wait. enjoy. This said she might have the throat of this goddamn dinosaur. Hey, uh, hey, chat. Go cheese. Get up. Get 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 a two hundred. Time him out, y'all. Boy, get a two hundred. Being submissive right. when I have a man that lets me, you know that. Oh, baddies and bad girls club not the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I can be submissive you can't with. Tell it. your man what, but what to are you do. Gonna, you That's your man. Right. Right. Man, so man. No. What do you have to support? Oh, they're getting six hundred. Yo, that's too much. Belief. That she is in fact cheating. For one, nobody even knows she's in a relationship. She won't even post me on what, her social what media. About? Everybody knows about her on my end. Um, when I asked her why haven't she posted me on her social media, she gave me a weak excuse saying that her fans would be, you know, mad if she's in a relationship. That's what, not what I said. I mean, I said I want fans to start going to your page and being rude to you and saying the things they say to me because my fans are crazy and I don't want him to go through that. AKA I want to keep him safe from all AKA the, the bad. Out. I ain't gonna lie, man. You acting like a You acting like a I don't know if I want to coach you right now. Bay post me, bae. Bay post me, bae. Shut your ass up. What is you doing? Who give a fuck? Yo. Uh, what was that? Was it get this up? Hey, damn it, thank you. End up being a celebrity. It's hard. You know, with the court. Trey post me. I'm research. your mind. No. We found on your Twitter, where you posted this That's beautiful nice. picture, and you right. have my beautiful lady. 
Smoking, smoking the rose, bro. That whole gone, bro. So he's claiming so you, you. I like the picture, so people can see that I liked it. So it's not like <laughs> she liked the picture. Okay, like you, you like the <laughs> you don't like the fact that he's claiming you that he's saying, look, this is my woman. He's telling the world. He's proclaiming it to the world. You're not proclaiming to the world that this is your man. You yes. see why that's a problem. But you that's can... cute the first few months it is. But God, I'm still a girl. Like there's things I need. Like I just need certain things, okay? Like what? I just can't. I get bored. All it's right, been eight I'm... months. I'm tired of talking on the phone. I'm tired of doing that. Come see me. Let's go on a romantic. Go. Let's okay, do something. Rewind. Okay, hold, hold on, rewind. hold on, hold on. So what do you mean? You, you tired of being on the phone? I get that. So what? So what? You because right now I, 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 we can wrap this up. I get a win. We can, we can wrap this up. I can get a win right now. What the hell is he talking about? Hold on, let me say something. Miss Monet, hold up, hold up. Wait. Hold. You sure? <laughs> oh, we're doing what they're doing. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's... All right, have you told the world that you're still single? No, I've never said that. I've but never said, never said I'm said single. I never say I'm either. single. I never do any of that. Okay, so you a don't A lot of celebrities that. keep their relationships private for, for the one reason, so the other person won't have to get the backlash that we get, that we deal with on a daily basis. She does make... Hey, on some real I ain't gonna lie, I get that. I get it, I get it, man. A lot of the time, like, when I was in a relationship, bro, I was, yo, man, I I, I talked to one girl that wanted me to post her, yo, yo, I'm being honest, yo. Shout out to you. You was pissing me off with that shit. Relax, bro, like. Uh, the reason why I get it is because, bro, what, first of all, I don't even post relationship type of content. I don't do that. I don't even post my personal life, period, for real, bro. Like, I don't be doing that. Also, as well, I know how weird people can be point blank period i know you get no hoes yeah that's why i'm posting none. but i know how weird people can be bro i didn't seen people see somebody significant others and then go to the they go to their significant other page and be like damn you the girl he talking to i i thought he would have got better i thought he would have got this and then all of a sudden now you get these comments oh no they talking about me My, i told you i wouldn't go i want to post you i just i told you i was protecting you from this now here you go crying and shit. so just to save all of this or or even beyond that like let's say for example even if you dating a crazy bad girl anytime that they do something on social media here they come say bro your girl doing this your girl doing it i know who the fuck i'm dating get the leave me the fuck alone so to save my time to save your time let me just i got a personal page that all my family and friends follow i'll post you on there if you don't want to be posted on there, you're f bugging the f out. You look like the roast burlesque. You see that? That's why I don't have real messages and real, uh, real goddamn conversations. Because when I do that, I look like the burlesque roast costume. Now I'm never gonna do this again. A valid argument that God. celebrities, I mean, keep their relationships private. I mean, everybody. And she's knows. trying to protect you. That's do you true. do you accept that? No, I do not. Because at the end of the day, yes, she a celebrity, but at the same time. That backlash don't bother. I, have, I got tough skin, so I'm not worried about that. Yo, he, yo, to believe that she's cheating. Yo, Besides, yeah, please give me other reasons. I'm about to start telling yes, the world now. Um, so she asked me to go to a Miami trip, spur the moment Miami trip. When I told her that I couldn't come, what she did was she told me that, oh well, you know, my friend, her boyfriend's flying down there, and he's gonna fly a few of his homeboys down there. We all gonna rent uh -huh. a house out together. Uh -huh. So once I told her how I felt about that, she. Oh, I'm just playing. It's not gonna be nobody. Hell no! <laughs> Hell no! Hell no! No! I was just saying that to see what you was gonna say. See how you feel about it. How did you feel about that? I wasn't like if if I'm rocking with you, I'm I'm not expecting you to be sleeping in no house with with other men. But but she backed away from that. So what did she ultimately leave you thinking? What kind of trip she was taking? Oh, it was just gonna be. <laughs> Come on now, Miss 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 Cutler. Come on, Miss Cutler. Bro, that. They flying in on a private jet. Them motherfuckers getting off that goddamn flight asking where the is at. They ain't got to go far because they staying with them. What's that late night zone? And you not going to be in there. You my girl. If you uh, you can go there, but me and you ain't together. So fast. What are you talking about? Her, her friend, and her friend's boyfriend. But Just right. the three of them. Just the three of them. And not to mention, when she so was in Miami, and I FaceTime her, um... But it took a, it took about two hours for the FaceTime me back. Oh she no, said she, no, babe, no, 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 <laughs> boy, the motherfuckers was hooping in there. No, babe, no, nah, this. 
Nah, I ain't fucking with it, dog. He was in a room with another friend that met them down there in Miami. I don't know if this friend was a female or a male. All I know is that it took her three hours to respond back to my call. You called me one time and I was late. That's because I was getting ready for my booking. So... I think he's just a very insecure person, and I can't deal with that because in oh, no. my realm of work, we're gonna argue all the time. Wait. Listen, I gotta ask the hard question. <sighs> Did you sleep with someone else while you were in Miami? No! Never would I do Jumping that. Didn't kiss anyone. Didn't even hug my mom. Nothing. <laughs> Wait, oh, did you, you see how she slipped that in there? Didn't hug anybody. Okay. It's not like I'm so, making so, a joke. Like, it, church long. hugs only. Like, it was nothing going on. Church, church hug. <laughs> church, like, like this? <laughs> Like that. That's no, what body like contact. He, yeah, I feel like he knows that deep inside, but he's just so freaking crazy. Like, it's just, I don't understand it. Because I'm not like that. Like, I don't worry. I don't think he's doing any... I don't worry too much, because if you don't trust someone, you shouldn't be with them anyway, because that's just a headache. So yeah. I give you just, trust. Like... I don't know. I'm watching you, girl. Mr. Johnson, you're trying do you to have gaslight like me. other reasons not to trust her? Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> she say she say that I don't step up, be a man, and try to take her out. This and the other. I planned a whole trip to Vegas, fight night weekend. The week exactly. before. Exactly. She was taking a nap. Her damn hair all fucked up, nigga. That yo, they they always taking a nap. You don't even take naps when you're around me, but you go out of town and now you want to take a nap. I ain't never seen you nap. I'll be Wild nabbing. Tiger is just resubscribed for four months. Yeah, boy, I. Okay, Trey, now Trey, yeah, Trey free, my you, dear gang. friend, how was your day? And and when you good. going to make merch cause I need a damn shirt to say we gotta get rich so I stay motivated. We gotta get rich, damn my tea. Uh, yo, the merch, the merch, uh, I've been saying it was on the way. Damn, we, it's the goddamn year over. Yo, coaches, bro, we might have talked business soon, man. Yo, Colin, what's the word, gang? Flew out. Kiana ignoring my text messages and calls the whole week. She just, she <coughs> goes ghost. She when she went ghost. When I flew out to Vegas that day, I called Kiana. She hit me back at 1 a.m. At that point, I'm like, you know, I don't even want to deal with this no more. So I spent the entire Vegas weekend trip without even seeing her. The week leading up to that, she ignores you. Yes. Let me tell you the truth. All right, let's hear let's it. Let's go What's your side of the story? Me? Oh, my homeboys done convinced me to come watch the fight in Vegas. We're going to come out there. We're going to come out there. I'm going to um, see you when I get out there. Though. I'm going to come right. out. So he never planned it for me because I was, I would have really been flattered if he really came out there to see me. Like, because he never does anything. So that would have just made me like. Damn. But let's so be honest. Just... Him and his homeboys planned it. They got a hotel. He didn't even stay at my house. He got a hotel with his homeboys. Miss Monet, regardless of whether he was coming out with his homeboys or not, if your significant other, if your boyfriend's coming out to the town you live in, you make time to see no, him. I if... did. You didn't let me finish. He's lying to y'all. Let me tell you the rest. <laughs> OK, so after he gets there, he talked crap and told my our mutual friend that I was talking crap about her. No. Because he was no. mad that I didn't see what, him that okay. as fast as he had wanted okay. me to in that right. Now, what kind no. of man does something like that? That's Ms. Monet. Nah, this, this, this nigga be a, uh, Bro, don't tell me you did that. Don't tell me you did that. Miss Monet. And I was done after that. Don't want to see. So, so oh, hold on, Miss Monet. No, Miss Monet, you are saying yeah. that the, all of this is because you're a celebrity. He doesn't understand the world you're living he in doesn't. and the things that you're doing and the things that you've done are because of your celebrity status. And you're saying unequivocally you're not cheating. No. That is I why. I want some of that and I can't even get that. So I'm just like, I don't know what to. Bro, she's trying to fuck something. You ain't pull up. If I can't even get so that late, you know what I'm saying? All right, so hold on. Girl, it's too because much. Of... <laughs> <laughs> because you are a reality star, you're a bad girl on TV, we had to find out from a bad girl about a bad girl. Oh, we are no. pleased to have Natalie Nunn, <gasps> who's going oh, yeah. on to become a successful entrepreneur. Nigga, wasn't she just in the news for jumping somebody? Yo! I just seen on Twitter the other day, she got a nigga jump by like 10 niggas. And a mother and a wife. And she was an original bad girl on the original Bad Girls Club. Ron, would you escort her in, please? Yes, y'all. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yo, 
I like it. Well, I, well, I, I like the damn video. It says Natalie Lund was cheating on her husband with Tommy 9000. I don't know who the fuck Tommy 9000 is. Says tricking on him only for him to get jumped by 10 dudes because he found that she drugged his drink. What the fuck, bitch? Go to jail. Tommy has proof in the original post he's going live on the 23rd. Motherfucker, what was the proof? Natalie Nunn is literally disgusting and a huge embarrassment. Natalie Nunn equals P. Diddy. The whole industry is corrupt. In Houston, Texas. Oh, this, this bitch named Houston? In Houston, Texas. And you're probably wondering why my face looks like this. And I'm gonna tell you. If you got jumped by 10 niggas, now you got a bandaid on your lip. That was a weak ass jump, and them niggas don't hate you, nigga. By your very own Miss Natalie Nunn. Man, who the fuck jumped you, nigga? Some kids? It's always Houston. Nah, bro. Bro, that's these new niggas moving to the city. Stop fucking coming down here. No, we're so glad you're here. Yes. And to help yeah. us with this, and you were. The original bad girl. I was. All right. Stop talking about Bay like this nigga. She, she just got a nigga, a nigga jumped by ten niggas and drugging drinks. And yesterday you just said you're not easy on stream. Yes, chat. Yesterday my my FOT De Beer fifty three said that he wasn't easy on stream, but then Natalie Nunn comes up on twenty four hours later. Natalie Nunn comes up on stream. He calls her Bay. I just read a tweet that accused her of drugging a nigga and getting him jumped by 10 niggas. <laughs> All right. Right. I was. <laughs> Can you relate to this case? So, it's very overwhelming, you two. I hear you flying to Vegas. I hear you trying to move to Vegas. I hear the fight night. I hear it. I celebrity. Girl, I was the original bad girl. Yeah. When you have a good man in front of you, really trying, you need to bring it down a few notches. I am a bad Yo, real shit, sometimes you gotta sit back and just think about what the fuck we watching. Who gives a fuck what Natalie Nunn gotta say? I don't even know what the fuck she really do for her. I just knew she had a long chin and she was on a reality TV show. I girl at heart, but I am also an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I'm a mom. I am a wife mm -hmm. of five years married now. I just read a tweet that says she cheated on her husband <laughs> with a nigga named Tommy 900. Ooh, and girl. I'm, oh, trying, to, I'm yeah. trying to tell you, oh, Lord, okay? God, and I was America's favorite bad girl, <laughs> okay? So, so, so no Ms. Monet is saying that this is just part of being a celebrity, part of being a reality star, part of being a bad girl, mm -hmm. that what she's doing is just part of that persona. Yeah, F.O.T. DeBeer, we're going to go ahead and time you out, man. Uh, I don't know what's going on in, in, in the bloody saw, but we're going to get you together right now. Mm -hmm. See you soon, She's playing to her fan base. <laughs> Your fan what's, what's base is my fan that? base. Let's, let, hold on. I'm going to let you get away with some of this. Damn, she popped up on here flexing on her. Right now, because I'm a bad girl. And we gonna, we, look, girl. But look, you need to separate your real head. life from your work. You're treating him like a fan. Like, how do you, how are you not, why don't you want to post him? Like, and, I, and in this, it, on the flip side of that, in the beginning, I did not post my husband either. And, and I can relate to that because there were times in the very beginning of my relationship, I was like, oh no, you're not about to, mm -mm, you're not about to mess what I got going on because I don't know if I really want to be with you. You know, I'm not going to show the world who you are. And then now you're going to be on all these blogs that, you know, and now I got another count on my list. That's exactly like, how I feel. I got another guy I'm date, I didn't date and that's didn't how I feel, work though. out. And that's the that's issue. That's exactly how I feel. Yeah. I'm like, that's the issue. I don't know, if, just like he doesn't know if this is real. I'm trying to figure out if this is real because if I'm not there, I cannot post you until I know for a fact. And that's why we're here to find oh, out. Man, Mr. Johnson, you brought a witness today, is that correct? Yes. Ma'am, would you stand to the podium? What the fuck is that? Would you state your name, please? My name is Jennifer Williams. Uh, Ms. Williams, what is your relationship to Mr. Johnson? 
I'm his big cousin, but we have a brother-sister relationship. He tells me everything. What do you know about this relationship? It seems that Kiana has a problem with communication. He goes long periods of time without talking to her, and she wants to... Anytime she sees him again, she wants to just pick right back up where they left off. It doesn't work like that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm supposed to be coaching uh, Mr. Williams, is his name? But the problem is Mr. Williams is a bitch. <laughs> like, that's the ultimate problem. Yo, she is showing you that she does not like you. And you're sitting here continuing to beg her for your attention for real. I mean, beg her for her attention. Nigga, she don't like you like that, nigga. Get the fuck on. That it seems very deceitful. She is she doesn't seem like somebody that he should trust at all. And for him to get up and make a big move like that, nobody in our family knows her. We don't know her. We don't know anything oh, about her except so that's except how important I am. So, how so could, how could we know you? How could we is know you? So Miss we do Hold know. On. We on. do know what we see on social media, him claiming her, and she liked the picture, yeah, like you would like it. Your little brother or your cousin mm -hmm. is getting ready to uproot his life, yeah, spend all this money, for and and it may be for nothing. Yeah, for nothing. Miss Williams, thank you so much for your insight. Mr. Johnson, you have concerns that whether you're getting a reality star, a bad girl, or someone that you can spend yeah, your life with. Well, companion, co correct. Miss Bonet, mm -hmm. have you been cheating? No, no. Mm -mm. Are no. you dating anybody else? No. I'll be honest, but these niggas not even in a relationship. I know I'm wrong for looking at it like that. Y'all not know. Y'all niggas is not in a relationship, bro. This nigga fanned out, bro. Cap, bro. If y'all considering this a relationship, niggas is thirsty, bro. They, how is this a fucking relationship? They don't talk on the phone. They, he, she, she don't see this nigga. They go long periods without talking. This is, this is a nigga holding on to something. What the fuck am I watching? Are you sexually active with anybody else? Mm. That's crazy. Like, no. Okay. Yeah. That The court would like to call Kendall Schill, licensed private investigator and former special agent to the FBI, to the courtroom. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Schill in? Yes, Sean. Hey, her ass in Vegas, nigga. She cheated, nigga. <laughs> I know we ain't said it's a relationship, but since we on couples court, is if she cheated or not? She in Vegas, nigga. She thinks she got a little clout. Maybe that little bit of clout get her in some of them rooms. Nigga! <laughs> she got crushed in Vegas and in Miami, nigga. How are you, sir? Great, Your Honor. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, we're glad you're here to help us get to the truth. Glad to be here. All right. You did a polygraph examination of Miss Monet. Is that correct? I did. And you obviously have the results there. I do, Your Honor. Would you please state your credentials for the court, please? I was privileged to enjoy a, a career as a special agent with the FBI in Washington, D.C. Uh, after completing a master's tripping. degree in polygraph, I became the chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program. This after is good retirement, this is good I moved to Knoxville, Tennessee, where I opened up Kendall Investigations, which is a private investigative and polygraph company. Mm -hmm. Mr. Shaw, just for the court record, about how many polygraphs have you done? See, Flash, you just timed a nigga out. It was a good time out. But then you turn around and use your same goddamn phone that you just timed him out with to type titty sitting. I just want to know, what goes on through your head? Over your career. Thousands. Right. All right. Better. You asked Miss Monet during your 4th of July trip to Miami, did you have intercourse with another man? What was her response? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. Okay. It's a fake episode, y'all. We found a fake ass episode. I'm, I'm, I'm about to get out. This is fake. It's a PR stunt. You asked Miss Monet, since you began dating Mr. Johnson, 
Have you had physical sexual contact with any other man? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being... The lie detector determined that she was being... Deceptive. Oh, it's a real episode! Oh, shit! You see, motherfucker, I knew it! Hold I knew on, I told you, boy! Boy, I told you, boy! Bang. Boy, I told you! Wins the game at the you gonna trust me one day, now? You gonna trust me one day. Four and fucking one, nigga. Four and one, nigga. What are we doing? What are we doing? <sighs> what? Now, run it back, because I want to know the question again. So, have you had physical sexual contact with any other man? <sighs> Miss Monet, this man is wanting to move across country to be with you. If you want that to happen, now is the time for you to come clean. I'm telling you, I've never had any sexual contact with anyone. I don't even know what that means. I'm like, sexual contact? Is that... You don't even know what that means. <laughs> Baby, sexual contact, even if you just use context clues, you know what both words mean individually. Put them together. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Get the fuck that out mean, of here. I've never had sex with anyone, never made out with anyone, none of that stuff. I mean, I had some stripper shake on me a little bit a few times, but like I never like had like se no. I'm being dead serious. I'm really shocked. All right, Miss Monet, we've gotten the results. The question is, Mr. Johnson, are you going forward with this relationship? <laughs> are you moving to Las Vegas, and what are you going to do? At this point, I had no clue. I knew it. I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Yo, this nigga is thirsty. I knew it. I knew it. Yo, this nigga. Yo. He this is not a relationship, bro. This is a nigga that is fanned the fuck out and he like her because of who she is. Like, I, I believe he genuinely like her too, but he fanned the fuck out too. I think he like her because of celebrity as well. What I just heard, so. Well, Mr. Johnson and Miss Monet, you all have got some issues clearly that you need to work out. If you all decide to move forward together, yeah. please take advantage of the counseling resources that we have here. Okay. I will tell you, you all need to learn to communicate. You they stand together. You all just talk. Well, I feel like if they not together, it's because of her. They gonna be, they gonna be him. Talk, 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 talk. Nobody hears anything. I tell all the time communication. No, no, no. Listen, if you all are gonna be together, you've got to figure that out. As we say in this court, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Court is adjourned. Thank you. There we got episode, man. I knew he was gonna stay with her. Three and two, hell no, nigga, that's still a win for me. <laughs> this league's rigged. You think y'all can have that too? This league's rigged. Look, the show's over. Fuck it, let's call some hoes over. I leave a bitch to type it, won't give her no closure. Yo, nigga, no, that ain't. Nigga, that's a win. Bro, at every turn, they got so many ways to get with. Yo, this don't fucking count, nigga. I'm 4 and 1. This nigga is so fanned out. That nigga said he no longer feels like a fan. How? What? What? What, what made you feel like that? What in your mind be like, you know, I'm really not fanned out, bro. She went to court with me. What the fuck? You're a sore loser. No, I'm not. A win's a win. You ever heard that? <laughs> a win is a win. <laughs>